For those who don't know Jared Alonji, he is a YouTube musician who last year released an album called Beating a Dead Horse on which he created seven fictional bands who parodied the tropes and styles of different genres including metalcore, emo and even crunkcore. But the most popular of these fictitious bands was the pop punk band Sunrise Skater Kids. So through a successful Kickstarter campaign, Jared Alonji funded and now released an entire Sunrise Skater Kids album called Friendville. What I like the most about this album is it is in many ways a parody made with a lot of love. It isn't mean spirited at all, it kind of is made as almost an in joke for pop punk bands. He basically comes along and makes songs that are at times made to be just like the songs many pop punk bands make. There are the obvious single songs with the catchy one, the acoustic song with Rilo Ken, the epic glass of emotions with Rain and My Parade, the obvious filler song with Nothing Special and also the large ending track with Mother's Milk. What makes this album so great is, yeah, it's incredibly funny and smart, but at the same time, the instrumentals and melodies are so fucking fantastic. In fact, at times, they can be just as good or maybe even better than some of the bands that they are parodying. The album doesn't stick to one type of pop punk as well. It parodies a wide variety of different sounds, including the sounds of early 2000s bands like Blink-182 and Sum 41, the sounds of easycore bands such as A Day to Remember and Chunk No Captain Chunk, 90s pop punk slash ska bands such as NoFX and MXPX, the slow emotional songs that bands such as Mayday Parade make, and of course modern pop punk bands such as Neck Deep and Man Overboard. And also what I like is that not all of the songs parody pop punk tropes. In fact, there are a few songs that just work on their own as comedic pop punk songs. Songs like Pit Warrior, which is a more day to remember style easycore song than a pop punk song. This song is about the guy at every show who takes moshing too far and gets incredibly violent. This track is probably my favourite on the album, not only because it's really funny, but also it's so catchy that I've just found myself singing it non-stop since its release. Dave Stevens from We Came As Romans also has a really great screaming section on the track too. Rilo Ken is another example of this type of song. As you can probably tell, it is a fully acoustic song sung from the perspective of Kylo Ren from The Force Awakens. I thought this song was genius. It made perfect sense, especially since many people have described Kylo Ren as being like a whiny emo teenager. So not only was it a great idea to make a song making fun of that description, but it was also great to make it an acoustic song like this. It's really funny and very catchy. I had it stuck in my head for days after it came out, and I had actually only listened to it once at that point. That really proves how effective a song is if it can have that effect on you after only one listening. The catchy one parodies those pop punk songs that are the obvious single tracks on the album. That incredibly catchy pop song. Basically songs like In Too Deep or All The Small Things which compared to the rest of the albums are the most catchy and simple songs on the album. And yeah it's incredibly catchy and will get stuck in your head. Trigger Warning is another highlight for me. This is a track that at first very much sounds like any of the state era of Blink-182. The lyrics are the most ridiculous and comedic out of all of the tracks. The verses are basically about this guy who starts to like a girl who is a man-hating feminist. The chorus is just ridiculously happy and bouncy about having fun in the sun with your friends. And then during the third verse, the song turns into a blast of anger and becomes a full-on metalcore slash deathcore song. Like, this huge switch is incredibly unexpected and is so fucking funny. I have listened to this track probably dozens of times and at this point I still laugh during listening to it. Exposure Bank is a pretty good 90s pop punk parody. It's intentionally produced badly and very unpolished to give it that sound. It is written with a huge level of sarcasm in which they make fun of piracy and people who say that exposure is all that they need and that they don't need record sales to help them out. Normally I wouldn't be a fan of a track with that sort of message. I guess my views slightly differ, but I think the way it's done in this song is done well. And I guess it's very different for Jared Delonji because he doesn't tour the music around and also releases it independently. So, so instead of people stealing money that would have gone to a huge record label, people are stealing money that would have gone directly to him. So I'll let it off for that. It's not the best track on the album, but definitely a good one. 
Rain On My Parade is another one of my favourite tracks on the album. The song is a parody of Mayday Parade's song Miserable at Best. It includes Varric J, the vocalist for Sunrise Skater Kids, doing an impression of the Mayday Parade singers. The song is about a guy saying that he misses his girl, not because he loved her or anything, but because he wanted to see her boobs and he never got the chance. This is another song that makes me laugh every time I listen to it, because it's such a ridiculous idea and it's almost like a parody of those breakup songs where the singer only focuses on how beautiful the girl was. And it's that slow emotional song that every pop punk album will always have. Other examples include things like Remembering Sunday by All Time Low or Soko Amaretto Lime by Brand New. And it definitely is a perfect one at that. Not just in how ridiculous and comedic it is, but also instrumentally. I said earlier that one of the best things about this album was the fact that it instrumentally is actually really good even for a parody album, and this track is a prime example of that. Everything is played and arranged beautifully. After this there is the song Nothing Special which basically parodies that filler track that every pop punk album has, and it literally lyrically says that they put no effort into it. And you know what makes it even better? It probably actually is my least favourite track on the album. All the Old Things is a spiritual successor to Hey Jared What's That Song Again, which was a song that basically was a melody of loads of metalcore parodies. All the Old Things literally takes sections from loads of pop punk songs and changes the lyrics. Yeah, it's kind of a gimmicky song, but still a well made one. As a huge pop punk fan, this album was perfect for me. I will admit that the genre is hugely flawed and this album basically picks out those flaws and makes fun of them, but at the same time many of the songs stand on their own as just pop punk songs with funny lyrics and not in a Blink-182 toilet humor filled way. Okay, maybe except for Rain On My Parade and Mother's Milk. The songs are incredibly fun, well performed and really well written. The melodies and instrumentation are perfect and as a whole the album sounds really great. I just had a lot of fun listening to the album and found myself revisiting it over the past two weeks since it came out. It's not the greatest album ever made or anything, but it's definitely a very funny one that I see myself listening to a lot more in the future. I give Friendville by Summer Skater Kids a 9 out of 10. Home! Rising sun